Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a card game. All right, so all this week we are gonna look at card games. That's right, card games. Now you'd say, okay, why are we doing card games? David usually only does playing cards and magic reviews. That's true, but if you think about it, playing cards has the word playing in it. Like there is this assumption that they could also be used for playing games. We talk about poker, right? And just playing card games, wanna play solitaire or something like that. Uh, even tarot cards originally could have been used to play games with, and so it seems only natural that I would also be interested in card games, and I am. I'm also interested in card games, and I do collect card games, good card games, and I thought, you know what, let's take some time to go through some of my very favorite card games. All right, let's go. Hey, today we're gonna look at exploding kittens. Uh, if you don't know, if you've lived under a rock, or maybe you've lived under a kitten, uh, this was the number one most backed Kickstarter ever. Okay, ever, so that means Yes, it was successfully funded. Uh, it is also the number one most funded game in Kickstarter history. This game is so popular, I, I've seen this for sale at Target, okay? I've seen the Not Safe for Work edition sold at Target, so yeah. Um, it was created by Alan Lee and Matthew Inman. And if you don't know who Matthew Inman is, he's the artist for The Oatmeal and uh, Shane Small. The ages for this, it's a seven and up player game. It's about 20 bucks on Amazon and it's a family friendly party game for two to five players up to nine players when you combine it with another deck. Uh, gameplay, it's going to take you about two minutes or so to learn and about 15 minutes or so to play a game. What comes in the box? So you get the box, what comes inside? Uh, it's an all card game based game. Okay, so it's all cards. There's no dice, there's no counters, there's no mat, there's no anything like that. It's just cards. Uh, it's 56 cards. You'll get that and you'll get the instructions. All right, so how do you play? How do you play exploding kittens? You always have to have one less exploding kittens in the stack than you do players. So if you have five players, then you have four exploding kittens in your deck. If you have three players, then you have two exploding kittens in your deck. The object of the game is don't draw an exploding kittens card. If you do, you blow up, you die. Unless you have a diffuse card. If you have a diffuse card, you can diffuse your exploding kitten and then lay it as a trap for somebody else. But odds are the next time it comes around, the second time it comes around, you will be blowed up. Unless you are able to steal a diffuse card from another player, that's also a possibility. So at the beginning of the game, uh, you just make sure you have one less exploding kitten in the pile. Uh, every person, every player gets four cards drawn from the draw pile and they get one diffuse card. You get one uh, ready to go. And you basically just play your hand, okay? When it's your turn, you play your hand and at the end of your turn, you draw a card. Uh, you draw a card and hopefully it's not an exploding kitten, otherwise, and uh, every card has you know different instructions. Some cards allow you to skip your turn. Other cards allow you to uh, go through the draw pile and look inside of it. Other cards allow you to stop or halt another player's actions, okay? And other cards you can group together in pairs and then you can use those pairs to steal cards from another player. So those are kind of cool too. But like I said, don't draw the exploding kitten card or you will be destroyed. As far as other games it's similar to, I would say this game is more like what you'd get if Russian Roulette and Uno had a baby. So if you can just picture what that's like. <laughs> All right, so is it fun? Is it fun? That's the bottom line, right? I'm gonna get this, is it fun? Because 20 bucks, it's 20 bucks for a card game, really, you know? And you wouldn't pay $20 for Uno, so it has to have something more than that, okay? Uh, it has great graphics. The graphics on this are so funny. Uh, the cards are fun to look at. It's fun just to even go through the cards and just familiarize yourself with them and what they do even before you start. Uh, you and your friends can have a laugh just even going through the cards. And you do kind of have that laugh uh, going through it during gameplay. It's fun, funny, slash, to play. So there is that. Um, I think it's best to play with four people. I've really only played it with four people. Um, I haven't done a two-player game yet, but having played the four-player, um, I kind of like the speed of that. There is the weirdness of as players drop out, they've got nothing to do. So literally, you know, the first person to go out 
he might walk off into the living room and hang out. Like, they, it, there's not a lot of uh, reason for that player to stay and hang out and watch the game unless you guys are having a ton of fun, but that's possible. So your players do drop out during the game, so it's, it sucks to be them, right? And there's not a lot of strategy to it either. You're pretty much just playing the cards you're drawn. You know, it's, it's, you're playing them what's in your hand, you're playing your hand, so there's not a ton of strategy to it, but there's some. I mean, I think you, you, you'll, you'll get the most strategy out of it if you are a strategy-minded player. Like, I think a person who is deep into strategy, a smart player, could find ways to make this more strategic, but it's, like I said, it's a simple game to learn, it's a simple game to play. My only complaint about this is the card quality itself, so having, you know, I, I review cards, this is what I do. <laughs> uh, the, the game quality of the cards themselves are a little cheap, so if you do get this game, I would suggest probably putting it into uh, card protectors, okay? But just because, you know, the $20 price tag, go and take care of your game, obviously. Expansion packs, are there other things out there that could help make this game even more fun, if that was possible at all? Uh, there's two right now. So there's the NSFW version, the non-safe for work edition. And so like I said, you can get that one at Target. You can get it on Amazon also. It's a completely separate game. So there's a completely separate game out there that has the same exact rules, same exact gameplay. However, uh, the cards are a little bit more risque. Uh, but you could add some of those cards into your current uh, pack to add more players to the game. You could. But there's also an imploding kittens expansion pack out there. It's really big. Uh, if you look at, uh, I was going to get it on Amazon, and the Amazon doesn't even tell you how big the box is. When you look at it, you just think, well, it's probably an expansion pack, like a blister pack. Maybe this, no. It's a huge box because inside of it is the cone of shame. So you can add the cone of shame element to your game, and it literally is a cone that you, you uh, uh, put on someone's neck. And so the person to wear the cone of shame is the first person who says, whose turn is it again? That person then has to wear the cone of shame. And the Imploding Kittens expansion pack adds a couple of new cards that aren't originally in the game. So there's some new strategies and it also adds in the Imploding Kitten, which is a card that's inserted face up into the deck. And when you get it, you can't defuse it. It implodes and your universe completely ends. All right, so that's my review of Exploding Kittens from Ellen Lee, Matthew Inman, and Shane Small. Like I said, you can get this game for about 20 bucks on Amazon. You can go find it at Target. I think it's a fun game. My family enjoys it. We like playing it with friends when they come over uh, for parties and whatnot. So definitely want to head on and check that one out. Thanks. Bye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. As a special treat for you, because this is game themed, you get bonus content. Yep, bonus content for watching this all the way to the end, so good on you. Uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, just know that typically I review playing cards and magic tricks, and if you're a subscriber, you'll get special information every single month uh, when I do giveaways. I give away a deck of playing cards every single month, sometimes two, sometimes three. So make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.